Hey guys, so I'm finally getting around to doing this video. Oh, sorry, something was on my screen, but whatever. And I'm finally reviewing this hair. I've had it in for a week, and I'm like this right now because get a lot of compliments on it but I don't know I'm personally feeling it right now anyway let's get into what it is that I'm actually reviewing right now it's the Altre lace front wig inspired by batik bundle hair in the style Peruvian I'm guessing the curl patterns will be like Peruvian and it's lace L parting as you can see in the color DR 2730 and this is how the wig, this is exactly what the wig looked like, except for the color, of course. But this is exactly what it looked like when it got out of the package. A lot, a lot of hair. And it's supposed to be a side part, but I was not feeling it. Like, I usually do a side part, but with this hair, it was just, I guess, the cut of it. And I didn't want to do too much cutting to it to shape it. And one of the girls here on YouTube, I will insert her name, I is doll face something. I forgot but she just did on the bundle hair that they actually have and I have the wig version she has the bundle hair she made a wig out of it and it looks gorgeous on her and it was a center part and I was like hmm maybe I should switch it over to a center part and that's what I did and I think it fits me a lot better um yeah so for the specs of it there is one comb in the front right here and then one in the back and adjustable straps I do not use the cones because I used it before and I thought I think it started ripping at my edges because I don't know what it is about this lace it's like really hard harder than usual it's like pretty rough it was like really rough on my hair the combs are pretty sharp to me and I don't want them ripping out my edges like it wasn't like ripping from the root but like breaking them off when I like would clip them into my braids because I have my hair braided um just like a couple braids going back like that in the center part but, um yeah the perimeter is a braid and it was ripping at the edge of my hair and no I don't want that happening so I don't use the combs what I do is I use two bobby pins I pin right here and right here down and make sure it's like in the parting I did pluck out the parting like I usually do with my unit here in my mouth sorry like I usually do with my units I just plucked out some of the hair in the parting to make it look more realistic I don't even bother with um, concealer or any setting powder because it just lays so well guys like one of my students was even like miss your closure looks amazing and it's a cosmetology class so it's appropriate for I say that. But yeah so it lays very flat as you can see I don't even bother I have like the beige um stocking cap over my head of course protect my hair and also like give like a natural parting in it but I don't use any setting powder I do not use any concealer I just pin it down really flat and tight so it's pretty secure I kept the I usually don't but I kept the um the adjustable straps clipped in because I want just like the extra security my head's pretty big and I have a lot of hair so I usually have to have like either cut them out or think about this wig I like it like it's starting to get dry like usual like this is not human hair first of all this is not human hair this is synthetic hair but it's very good quality synthetic hair it does not say it tangles but it, like look at that like it's tangled right here what I'll have to do is put my fingers through it and it parts so easily like usually with curly units it's like matting in the back there's no matting in the back and I've had this for a week usually by now it's matted and nasty it's not matted at all just slight tangles with any type of curly hair you'll have tangles but my fingers go through it so easily like oh well <laughs> not that easily I'm guessing but it goes through pretty easily it's easy to detangle whatever anyway it was cut into some like really choppy layers and wasn't really feeling that so like I just like did like the cutting like that just to sh shape my face um I did cut off a couple inches off of it because it is a lot of hair that's another thing if you're not into having a lot of hair like I think I'm growing out of that sorry I think I'm growing out of that whole tons of hair on my head so if you can see 
Let's see how it is. Like, yeah, it's a lot of hair. And I'm a tall girl, and I'm a thick girl, so I don't know. I just, like, it makes me look bigger. I feel, I don't know, it's probably just me. I don't know. People say they like my hair. I don't know. I'm always changing my hair and trying to change my style, but from, like, looking at the, my the screen right now, like, I think it looks good on camera. Um, yeah, I love the, I love the color, and I love the dark root, so it looks more realistic and not realistic. Like, everyone knows this on my hair, but, I mean, I don't think anyone really would mistake this for my hair, to be honest, because it's a lot. I don't know. I've never had anybody come up and like, oh, is that your hair? And I think it's also people always see me changing my hair anyway. And they've seen my real hair. I haven't been around any strangers like that. So, but yeah, I really like this hair. It's just like, you know me, I always get tired of my units really quickly. So, yeah, but if you're into this, like, I'm like hoping like, if I was to order another one of this, it would still be the same curl pattern, same amount of hair because I have to apologize to whoever purchased the last wig I reviewed, the Evelyn unit, like, some people ordered it and it was like a completely different wig, it was a different curl pattern, it was a lot more hair, or something was wrong with it. I'm sorry about that. I was not sponsored. I was just, that was just like, I got lucky and got ordered a good wig with my own money so yeah and like if you saw my second review on it you saw that I did get tired of it and it is a lot of maintenance I think for a curly unit like usually I have no maintenance really with them but like other than what I do with all my units I spray it down with water sometimes mixed with like a little leave-in conditioner I use the Giovanni um, direct leave-in and spray my hair and then I use argan oil a little bit and just smooth it through my hair just to give it more sheen and a little softness but yeah that's about it if you have any questions about there feel free to contact me on my instagram like most of you do on my instagram down below um yeah let me know if you like this unit if you want to see like more like well if I, you want to see more reviews when I do get wigs because I don't like get free wigs I still order them myself and I'm still experimenting but I'm actually I might not get a wig for a while to be honest because I am planning on cutting my hair which I'll make a video of that soon so yeah that's about it um it didn't really, it came in like plastic packaging and this tag and then on the inside it has like the care guide some of the care guides I don't know how well this is because like it's saying detangle I wouldn't put a comb to this I don't even know how to wash this really like saying carefully wash in lukewarm water with mild shampoo do not rub or twist blah blah blah, blah. yeah I don't think I would I don't know I have like a wig shampoo that I use by uh I'm not even probably I'll do a video on washing it if I end up washing it we'll see but I had this for a week I think I'm gonna give it a rest for the rest of this week year and probably after I think I'm putting my yarn twist back in so yeah that's the end of this I'll talk to you guys later